Hi guys, it's Shay Speaks. Yes, back again. I just thought that I would do this quick inspirational video just to share some tips of help that you can give those that are hurting. During times of uncertainty such as this, we are experiencing a lot in our nation. I'm talking about an issue that actually went from uh, one community, one state, to now impacting the entire nation. I'm seeing a lot of controversial conversation about the social injustice within our system on social media. And I'm going to be completely honest, it breaks my heart. From the protesting, to the rioting, to the looting, to just people arguing, fussing with one another. So one of the things that I prayed and I asked God, I said, God, how can we help? How can those that feel like they can't offer any assistance, any help to those that are hurting, what can they do? So, of course, for the believers, we, we understand the power of prayer. We understand that our stability comes from the word of God. So, as it says in Psalms 46, 1 through 3, it says, God is our refuge and strength in an ever-present help in time of trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give away and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with the surging, we still shall not fear. But in times of uncertainty, for those that don't really have an understanding, we understand that the scripture declares in Proverbs 18 and 10, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run unto it, into it. The righteous run into it and are safe. But for those that don't understand scripture, God, how can we help those that are hurting? What can we do? Some of the things that you can do during this time, and I just want to say, just because a person is silent, it does not mean that they agree with the opposition. Sometimes their silence is just a way of saying, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to help. So they got to keep quiet in order to prevent from provoking additional anger to pre from to prevent from provoking bitterness to prevent from provoking additional confusion causing more hurt so someone would ask well Shay I hear you speaking but what can I do to help those that are hurting so here are four things that you can do to help those that are hurting number one of course above all things pray for them Prayer is the most powerful weapon that we all possess. Number two, show love, show empathy. Show love and show empathy. We all have heard the saying, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. So if you don't have anything nice to say, if you can't show love, if you can't display empathy, just don't say anything at all. Number three, never, 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 never diminish a person's experience just because it has not been your personal experience or you can't relate because you don't share a common experience and the last but not least number four you got to know that sometimes you just cannot respond you can't respond out of emotions to simply try to get a point across you cannot respond out of emotions to simply get a point across, especially trying to have a conversation with a person or people that's devoted to not understanding your perspective, to, who, to a person that's not mature to handle conflict and conversation. So again, how do you help those that are hurting? How do you help those that are hurting? Number one, pray for them. Number two, show love, show empathy to them. Number three, never diminish a person's experience just because it's not your experience. And number four, do not respond out of emotion just to get your point across. Why? Because responding in emotion only 
intensifies stress and brings on additional hurt. Is it really worth more stress? Stress Is it really worth anxiety, additional anxieties? Is it worth it? Absolutely not. Because elevated stress and anxiety only ends up leading you to additional stress or a stay in the hospital on medication. So again, how do you help those that are hurting? How do you help those that are hurting when you don't have the necessary means or resources or services to give them tangible materialistic know that a service that you can give someone that is hurting is simply a word of prayer i know it sounds easy for someone to say go pray when you really don't know how to pray so to teach you how to pray even if it's something as simple as father watch over this nation even if it's no more than father who are in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done Even if it's no more than, Father, strengthen them, love them. Even if it's no more than, God, help us, help the nation, help us to come together united, that there will be no division amongst us. Then number two, show empathy, show love. The greatest commandment of all is to love one another. If God is in you, then you'll display love. Even to the person that you feel don't deserve your love, you will display love. Number three, never diminish a person's experience, a person's situation or circumstance simply because you cannot relate, simply because it hasn't been your personal experience. Never diminish someone's experience because you haven't had that experience. And last but not least, don't respond out of emotion simply to get your point across. So know that even when you feel like you can't do anything at all, there's still something that you can do to help those that are hurting. So I remember in a time of crisis, in a time of a national crisis, help someone else that's hurting by one, praying for them. Remember, prayer is the most powerful thing that you possess. Number two, show love and show empathy. Even though it hasn't been your experience, Show a level of understanding, even when you lack understanding. Number three, never ever diminish a person's experience because it hasn't been your personal experience. And number four, don't respond out of your emotion to simply get your point across. That's how we combat injustice. That's how we come together united. That's how we love one another. These tips are things that helps to combat injustice and to raise up a nation that knows how to love in spite of differences. So remember guys, we simply do these inspirational broadcasts to inspire the influencer in you so that you know that God has called you to do something great even when you feel unworthy. You are an influencer. Remember, it's your encounter with one person with one somebody that can change the way they view not only themselves, but they view life as a whole. Have an amazing night, guys.